Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make the oyster with the little pearl inside. What you're going to need is some light grey bands, some dark grey bands and a little pearl bead and I have threaded a clear band through that. Okay, You're going to need two looms put together and the configuration is going to be that rows 1, 2, 5 and 6 are going to be the same height Room, rows, sorry, columns 3 and 4 are going to be slightly higher the arrow is going to be facing toward you if you don't have an arrow the opening of the peg is going to be facing towards you we're going to be double banding which means you take two bands and you place them over the pegs as if they were a single band and that gives it a much stronger and firmer feel to the actual loom so we'll get started we're going to start up the top here with two bands at the top Do a curve here, then we're going to do one and two here, and two on this side as well. Down two, now before I start working my way in, I like to place the center bands. Oops, those are stuck together. We can start curving our way in here. Two on the other side. Keep pushing your bands down so that you have room. Two across here. I'm sorry, one across here. A single band. Stretch it out. Figure eight. Loop it on itself. And that just goes across like that. And you're going to put one of those on all of the ones that just have two pegs. eight just on the ones that have two pegs so this is the next one okay another two bands we're going to do our hinge and then we're basically doing another one of these down here told you it was easy down the side 
once you've done your two down the side here before you start moving in let's fill in the center now the pearl beads I actually got from Michael's Now we can cut in and do our shaping. Push those bands down. Oops. Single band here. Figure eight, and on the ones with just two, you're going to do the same again. Now, across where we have four pins, we're going to take a single band and stretch it across all four. Of this one we're not. We're going to use our little pearl and we're going to stretch that across all four so that it can just sit in the middle there. Stretch across all four and again on the top half of the shell stretch across all four like that now to get the little bit of different shape around here to sort of look like the teeth of the clam or the oyster you're going to get a single band and you're going to double it on itself and you're just going to place it as if it was an end cap on all of these and if you stretch it like I just did which I'm so used to doing because of end caps it will be a bit too stretchy it shouldn't matter too much I'll use a new one don't stretch them too much. <laughs> figure eight and pop it on. Figure eight and pop it on. Figure eight, pop it on. I'm not going to do the two at the top or the two at the bottom, just these ones around the side. just so it sort of looks like the the teeth I'm going to do the same on the lower side pushing those bands down
the last two. Like so. Now you're going to put an end cap on one of these pegs, whichever one you choose, it doesn't really matter. Single light grey band, twist it three times and place it there. That just gives it something to grip onto when you start with your looming. So go under your end cap and you're going to find the band that was laid last. And in my case, this one is the top one. So that was the one I need to go for. So I'm going to hold my end cap so it doesn't flip up and move that across. Then I can go under here and drag that one to its corresponding pin. This one can come up. I'm going to find the two bands to the right and loom them across. And this one can come up. And we're just going to keep going around, taking the top two bands before going for the bottom ones. If you have a, a crossover band here, you're going to dig your hook in and push it out of the way to get those two bands to loop them up. Always make sure you go for those two top bands first. If you have an end cap here, or a pretend end cap, which is the darker grey band, dig down inside it to get those two light grey bands and bring them up. And you're going to be looking for the teardrop shape which is your visual indication that things have been hooked in properly, loomed in properly If things get tight, put your hook in and go around the outside of the peg and it will loosen up the bands for you and you won't risk breaking them. And up and up. You're not going to do anything with the bands that we've used as a hinge. They're going to stay there. That's this band here. You're going to dig down and find the two bands for here and hook them up. And then we do the same, we go around here and do the same. So these are my top two, loom them over. Here, band. Thank you. Oh, you think you're going to be funny. There we go. Couldn't find the right bands there for a second. Perseverance is the trick. Down under these bands to find the two top ones. Hold the crossover of uh, the um, the end cap, I guess we'll call it. 
even though we're not using it as an end cap. Dig down in front of Push the bands down. This one's tight, so I'm going to go around the edge. And that one's tight too, so I'm going to go around the edge. And I look like I've only got one band there. Something has dropped. There it is. Tricky. Now we have our one band left here. What we're going to do is it doesn't matter which side you decide to loom, just grab two bands and hook them over. It's very tight at the top here. And then you're going to push your hook down the center there and out the side. Grab two of the light gray bands. Hook them over your hook, pull them back in to that channel around the outside of it, place your bands back on your hook and take the two nearest to you, lift them up, over and off your hook and pull tight. Now this is where I then go to a metal hook with no cushioning and we gently ease this off the loom. If you are going to pull it off the loom I would always recommend that you pull within the way of the pegs. They have a smooth flat rounded surface here versus two jagged little edges here. If you're pulling them up over the jagged little edges, you're likely to get something caught and it will break. If you're gently easing it over the smooth rounded edges and lifting it up and off as you pull, you're less likely to have a break. At the um, area of the hinge, use something to help you get it off the loom because that is the weakest spot I say, say on that TV show, the weakest link I don't even know if you have that show here ok, now we've got to find our pearl, there she is pull that forward stretch our little oyster and I use my hook and just gently ease these out and they don't have to look perfect because they're jaggedy kind of shellish teeth so they can look a bit scruffy
the same on the bottom and pull these out Now you can actually chop this this band off. It's not needed. There we go. Make sure you have your your pearl on the bottom one like that. And now we just need to get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is tuck it, hide it under these bands. So gently, with a smaller, more delicate hook, I'm just going to move it and hide it so it's discreetly shifted <laughs> under bands that are already there so that it doesn't look too out of place. Because it already has been hooked in, so it's not like anything is going to come apart unless you have a very rambunctious child that is going to pull. And last I saw she was asleep upstairs. So there we are, hidden under the bands. And there we have our little oyster. Two. Happy looming. I really look forward to seeing your creations. Thanks so much. Bye bye.